Hey guys, Mike Mo here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick impressions review of the Cecilia Mercator 16 cotton twill backpack. This is supposed to be in charcoal and um, I've had this for roughly a month now. However, it is going back and let me explain why. So take a closer look at this bag right here. As you can see, it actually looks like it's really clean, uh, fairly slim line. It'll hold a 16 inch laptop in the back and I have in fact tested that with my MacBook. Um, the color is not what I expected at all. Actually, if you take a look on the B&H website where I got this, you will see that it's a little bit more accurate color. Now, I don't know if the color is going to change over time. Mine has not. I'm looking at like right now and it looks a little bit purplish to me, to my eye. Um, if I suppose if this color is okay for you, maybe this might work out well for you. Now I was looking for, I was looking for videos and stuff about this bag and I couldn't find any that was not actually sponsored where they didn't get the bag for free. Now I'm a relatively small YouTuber and every once in a while I do get bags for free, but uh, in this case I didn't. So um, I, I'm telling you why I'm getting it. I'm sending it back, right? So this is Cotton Twill. Uh, Cecilia is a name brand that I did not know before. And that's because, um, you know, these bags are really expensive. So this bags, I think retails about 300 some dollars. B&H had a sale on it, brought it down to about 220 something. So with ship, you're still looking at a pretty expensive bag. Now this is the Cotton Twill version. Uh, the ones that you see on YouTube and the ones that people got uh, for free or for sponsored videos have all been leather. Now, I want to say that this cotton twill is, I mean, it looks really nice. It reminds me of a nice cotton twill um, jacket. The material's pretty good. The stitching's actually flawless that I've seen. Uh, the leather looks perfectly okay. It looks perfectly fine. I have a feeling that this will show up a lot of scratches over time, and I see a little bit of wear already, slightly a little bit of wear already down below, right over <laughs> Just a little bit over here. Now I haven't taken this out to use much. I actually have not taken it out on any shoots. And well, the reason is because I've been using this kind of like a multi-purpose backpack. And that's because it kind of is, right? You can fit you can fit a laptop in the back. And right now I only have my 14 inch MacBook Pro in here. So I got my 14 inch in here and I was able to fit a iPad in there as well, just fine, even though this was in fact designed with one slot in here. So this one slot really is only for a laptop, like a single use laptop, right? Inside, you'll see a couple of uh, design, well, I consider it uh, somewhat to be a design flaws. All right, up here, up here, this is Velcro. Now the Velcro side right here, you hear that? This Velcro side goes up against the bag. Now, I suppose over time, uh, that could potentially rub up against things in a bag and cause some issues. A number of other YouTubers have mentioned that before. That's one small thing, but you know, you put the leather strap on it, you're okay. It hasn't been too much of an issue because it really hits up against this also nice leather piece over here that has two little small pockets that are good for, not, I wouldn't say passports or anything, but you can slide in things in here. I actually have an SD card uh, case in here and I think that's it. What else I had in here, I think was um, some business cards uh, before, which I actually don't hand out, but they were business cards that uh, I received from someone else. So that holds it, that holds it pretty well. Nice leather stitching with a logo over here. Uh, I feel like the bag was protected my laptop pretty well, as long as I didn't overstuff it. I was able to fit my slim 15 inch in here along with an iPad Air. I wouldn't recommend it. It really kind of felt like it bulked up the, uh, the piece, uh, the whole bag. Now in the back, now I haven't worn this extensively as in I haven't walked around with it really long distance, but there are some channels in here. So you can see there's some channels that allow the sweat to go through here. Uh, also more branding. I kind of wish there wasn't that much branding, but there's more branding over here. This feels nice and, and supportive and supple. And also the straps are also fairly supportive too. All cotton quill, leather accent down here. It feels like a high quality leather. And you know, unusual is that right outside of taking it right out from the bag or the box that it came in, uh, these actually were really easy to adjust. And uh, you know, that surprised me. It surprised me how comfortable this was. Uh, so it seems like it's perfectly sized for this. Now, some of you guys who might need to do something a little bit more action sporty, 
This does not go across. There are no like waist straps. So really this is just kind of like a more of an urban type of thing. Jump in a car, jump out of the car, uh, go to the office, last mile type of transport thing. So I wouldn't take it take this backpacking or hiking in any way. Not like you would want to. All right, inside here, I'm just showing you exactly how I left this bag uh, recently. Right here, okay. So I got a mirrorless Sony. Uh, I believe this is the uh, A7R Mark IV with a 20 millimeter 1.8 attached, all right? Now I haven't been using this primarily for photography. I'm using it as a bag that just happens to have some photography, videography gear in here. So this is the way I had it set up. I had my RX100 over here. Uh, I think this is the Mark 7. And I got miscellaneous things over here. Uh, I have this, um, the Arsenal thing from Kickstarter that I haven't tried out yet, but I have in here. I'm hopeful that I'm gonna go out and do some photography uh, some weekend. Still haven't had time to do that yet, but I have that here. USB hard drive over here for the backups. I got an ethernet cable. Basically there's enough in here to fit, you know, the DSLR uh, mirrorless primarily, M maybe not with the grip attached. Um, a couple of lenses and a flash, no problem. But I have a DXO one, I have uh, AirPods Pro in here, lens caps. I have the, uh, in a tiny rigs case, I have the DJI, um, dang, what's this called? I have the link below. I haven't used this in a while, but I have the DJI thing here. Anyway, I have my Peak Design uh, tripod thing. You know, th there's not a whole lot of space down here to carry photography gear. So, you know, if you're primarily doing photography, you're gonna have to use the top slot over here. This is kind of my catch-all. I, I, I've been doing a lot of network troubleshooting and uh, insulation stuff and um, also a bunch of cables. There's just a bunch of miscellaneous charging cables. Uh, network cables and stuff. This like is like a nice throw wall in here. I could probably fit a really slim sweater in here, no problem. Uh, but you know, I've been traveling my car anyway. But th this could be another spot that you could put in your camera gear. If not for the fact, unfortunately, and this this is this this part does bug me, is that all right? I've taken my junk out here. There's a little pocket in here, right? But in this pocket, you see this? This is a zipper. This is a metal zipper. This will scratch your gear up and there's no protective slot on here, just like you would expect in a nice camera bag that was designed for photography gear. So they really, they kind of open this up to let you put in photo gear, but you're not going to unless, you know, you don't want to scratch anything up because you do have this metal zipper pool right here. But there is a nice little pocket here. It's a nice use of this space um, in addition. So, and then there's also nice little uh, pockets on both ends of these leather pockets. Uh, nice leather, like nice, nice leather right over here. And I have an SD, no, uh, lightning port to uh, USB adapter over here. So, so I just use this as a catch-all. If I have anything in here that I'm just in a rush to, to drop, s cables and stuff, lately I've just been doing that. And then I got the PGI, PGY Tech uh, Mantis Pro. This is pretty cool. I've used it a couple of times. Um, pretty useful. And I got my battery pack, of course, 100 watt hour, and then more cables, plus, plus the microphone, which I suppose I can throw in any which way. Anyways, this is a pretty good catch. I also usually throw a book in here uh, for on-the-go uh, reading that I got from the library. Now, this whole piece up here zips up. It just, it, it zips up. Okay, it takes a little bit of work to zip up. But in case you did want to, you know, keep this secured on this end so that when you open it up, it's just your photography or camera gear, you can. But moving up here, if you zip that up, then this becomes its own separate pocket, which is really nice. Okay, so I like that. I like that as an everyday type of backpack situation. And so that, that part works pretty well. Over here on the side, there is a little pocket here. And you could probably fit a passport, um, tickets, I don't know, whatever, you put some money. It's just a nice little flat little pocket area over here. I had erroneously thought that this would be a quick access slot for the camera. Unfortunately, it's not. This thing actually does not open, nor does it have one on the other side. So it's only on this one side. And I think that's, that's great for someone who likes to carry or sling your backpack around on your right shoulder. 
to access something really quickly, like some sort of a pass or something, or let's say we're traveling. Let's say you're traveling. I guess it makes sense. You're traveling, you want to access your passport, you want to access your wallet, you want to access your keys, right there. They got you. Unfortunately, not a quick access to uh, your camera. All right, going back out. Let's check out the front here. Front has a pocket. It's not that deep. All right, it only goes in a little bit. It probably has enough to fit, again, a wallet. I'm, I'm seeing a, a thing here. Maybe someone travels around with a wallet. But it has this strap here, which works down below to hold a, la uh, a tripod. Okay, see this little, this little thing over here? This thing right here? You put your tri what, one tripod leg up here and another tripod up there and you're good to go so you can carry a tripod on the, on the outside so you can scream to everybody that you have expensive camera gear. And then on the bottom they actually have a uh, you know, ring cover, which is built in. I haven't actually used it. I'm sure it fits just fine. It's, it's, it's kind of attached and detachable. Uh, it could be useful. Here in California, it doesn't rain very much, so I didn't really get a chance to try that or use that. But I do appreciate that there is uh, some thought and design here for you to go ahead and bring a tripod with you if you so choose to. At the bottom, we don't have any other protection on here. This is all just cotton, okay? And then you got a little bit of leather here. This is probably gonna wear out and stretch out a little bit. And that's about it. That's all I can say about this bag. It's, uh, it's a decent size. Sometimes I wish I could bring more, but maybe I shouldn't. Uh, well loaded up. You could get this up to easily, I would say easily 30, 40 pounds where it becomes, you know, un uncomfortable, so to speak. But it's not bad as an everyday type of backpack. I just wish the color turned out better. This, this color doesn't, doesn't work for me. And also the wear on this cotton is gonna wear like a piece of clothing, which is gonna be comfortable, but not very durable. So in the end, uh, so in the end, I am sending this bag back. It, uh, it is just not great enough. I think this is designed to be a little bit more fashionable. And I, I, I have to say, I'm just look at the way I dress my YouTube stuff. I'm, I'm not a super fashionable person. Um, so, yeah, it's going back. It's not good enough for me for the price. It has some great deals going, for, great things going for it. I feel like I can get uh, another backpack that's probably gonna work out better for me. That's less expensive, a little bit more durable. Uh, really, really, I want this, this pocket here, guys, to let me quickly access uh, my laptop. And I don't mind the cotton finish. Um, I just want something maybe like a durable canvas or something. I can see this is already starting to pill a little bit here and I really haven't taken it out much. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my look at the Cecilia Mercator 16 inch version. They have a smaller version that will fit a smaller laptop, I think a 13 inch laptop. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm doing full frame here. So I definitely want a little bit more size. Okay, I hope that this video was helpful to you. Please give it a like, subscribe for more. And if you have any other bags you would like me to check out that you know you can't find reviews anywhere for, let me know. Um, that's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you make some decisions, <laughs> good decisions, and hopefully not end up with too many bags like me. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.